हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल कैड विद विक्रम सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टूल्स व्हिच इज यूज्ड बाय मोस्टली ऑल इंडस्ट्रीज वेयर दे नीड टू जॉइन और असेंबल टू और मोर देन टू कंपोनेंट्स सो लेट्स सी सो दैट ऑप्शन नेम इज फास्टनर्स असेंबली वेर यू विल गेट दैट ऑप्शन शू गो फॉर टैब जस्ट इन टैब इन टूल्स टैब यू कैन सी एयर one of the option that option name is fastener assembly so what is the fastener assembly for this explanation uh, i mentioned in this pdf some points i mentioned here just pause this video and you can read out this okay or in simple way if you want to explain if you want to say what is fastener assembly then you can say it is used for uh, joints mechanically two or more than two components or objects permanently or non permanently okay like a, like that some examples i mentioned here you can see here uh, like a uh, nails rivets some nut bolts like uh, you can see here some screw type you can say so uh, that all are fasteners okay so with the help of that fasteners only you are going to assemble your components so like like that suppose you are going to use permanent fastener then what will happen if you will Uh, if you want to remove your fasteners if you want to disassemble your component then maybe your parts or your fasteners will damaged definitely your fastener will damage and maybe also your parts will damage but in non permanent easily you can remove your fasteners and your parts and fastener both will safe actually okay so according to your um, requirement you can use permanent and non permanent fastener so Uh, like that in every industries they having some oh, uh, his own fasteners uh, with some uh, standard size according to his components and products so if you having your own fasteners then also you can uh, configure in your system in your software otherwise some uh, standard fastener they mentioned here in uh, nx assembly okay so let's start just see what is that and how to use that fasteners so let's just example we are going to see assembly fastener so before that you can see here there are two plates which are already assembled we are going to create we are going to insert nut and bolts with the help of fastener assembly so go and select your hole type first then you have to click on hole inside face where you want to apply fastener so just click on inside face so if there are more than two hole with same dia so don't forget to click on find coaxial hole also another hole is here just click on that inside face you can see here all faces are selected here some automatically detected value is showing here can see next if you want to change your minimum screw extended length tolerance you can change here now you can see there are many standard type configuration name is there you can see whatever you want to select you can select according to your standard i am going to select am mean ansi matrix standard click on that and here you can see in whole type the standard should be same so you can see here there are many standard but i am selecting here nc matrix so from uh, form type screw type you can select in fastener configuration we can see here in nc matrix hex bolt top stacks okay in top stack some uh, washer is there actually so you can select your washer if you want to add it double click on that you can change something like a type standard you can add it in bottom stacks also you can change your categories type parts this is the nut types okay if you are if you don't want like a, a washer or anything like it you can close from here okay you can see this is your preview image you can see this things only going to create create automatically that will appear after clicking okay just wait a second
so some information will show here you can see here that is showing for this fastener we having only steel materials we don't have any other materials configuration that's why that is showing no issue you can see here your fastener is created here if you need same fastener for this middle hole so do the same procedure again so I am going to do same thing click on fastener select your inside face automatically all face will detect next select your configuration name and hole type standard I'm going to change as a NC metric. So, just you have to do iteration. If you are going to keep different different standard in configuration, is another standard in whole type of another standard. Then what will happen? Some component will not show here. So you have to keep the same things. Then only every components will show. Okay. So like that you have to do, you have to check whatever you want to apply. I am going to take NC matrix, then click OK. You can see here, the fastener is created here. Okay, you can see here. So next thing is there, if you want to add it, you want to change something, then how to change? So just right click on components in which you want to change just right click on that part or that fasteners edit reusable component you can see here and some option is some parameters is here whatever you want to change you can change according to that given legend image you can see you can understand what you are going to change I am changing here volt length so now length is 100 mm again if you want to change just right click on that again click on add it and now I am going to change this length as a 90 mm just click ok ok you can see your length is changed right now next if you want to change dia like anything like a washer diameter values you can change so I am changing here washer diameter again you can see we are going to change inside diameter its values so already that is M20 if you want to change you can change it I am selecting 24 so now you can see your die is changed ok so this is the assembly fastener guys I hope you understand